Welcome back to the channel, guys. Smurfs Montez, M U R A C M O N T E Z. Today's gonna be a little different. Today, I'm gonna do uh, kind of like a reaction video to CBS this morning. I saw some very interesting news on their, on their channel and how the U.S. was shattering a single day record for new COVID 19 cases. And I realized I haven't done a COVID 19 video in a while. So, I want you guys to watch this with me and just gonna see how it goes. When the only thing that matters is being together, why not bring the holidays to a verbal vacation? We're gonna begin with the dramatic worsening, though, in the coronavirus crisis. As many families make plans for this upcoming holiday season, Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Officials reported a record 136,000 new cases just yesterday. Wow. Every day over the past eight days, the number of daily cases has exceeded. 100,000. The crisis crazy. is plain to see in most of the U.S., forcing governors to announce new restrictions. More Americans are in the hospital with COVID-19 this morning than at any other point in this pandemic. But there is good news. The government's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, is giving a new timeline for a possible release of a vaccine. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, is in Toledo, Ohio, one of the areas where the caseloads are exploding. David, what is happening there? Well, Anthony, the governor is expected to address Ohioans tonight in a primetime address to remind them what's at stake. Things are going in the wrong direction here. Yesterday, Ohio set a record in terms of hospitalizations mm -hmm. and more new COVID cases than any other day in this pandemic. And Ohio's not alone. Across the heartland, demand for testing is surging. COVID-19 mm -hmm. cases are climbing. And as of yesterday, 17 states hit new records for hospitalizations. Now, I'm in Georgia, and um, it's not that bad here yet. So if you're living in, the, in any of these states that's highlighted, as you can see in the video, you know, drop a comment and just tell me like what you guys are doing to stay safe. Here in Ohio, admissions and cases are rising so fast that hospitals may have to start postponing non-emergency procedures, according to Ohio State University Dr. Andrew Thomas. We're within, you know, a, a couple of weeks of having to make difficult decisions, not just at my hospital, I'm talking every hospital in the state to Wisconsin now. They had another record-breaking day of coronavirus hospitalizations and deaths, which prompted the governor, Tony Evers, to issue a brand new stay-at-home advisory. Now, previous efforts by the governor to issue a stay-at-home order and other lockdown measures have been overturned by the state Supreme Court. And the governor warns if nothing changes, Wisconsin's death toll could double to 5,000 by January. It's not safe to go out, so please, Please cancel the happy hours, the dinner parties, the sleepovers, the play dates at your home. To Iowa now, as states in Des Moines are filling up with COVID patients, Iowa's Governor Kim Reynolds has issued an order requiring people to wear masks in most public places. It's a move that the governor has resisted since the beginning of the pandemic. She once called mask mandates feel-good actions, but now her state has one of the highest test positivity rates in the nation. We've reached a point of serious community spread, and we can no longer pinpoint any one age group or type of activity that's driving it. There is more good news this morning on the vaccine front. Dr. Anthony Fauci expects that Pfizer's vaccine... Now, you guys don't have to tell me what you think about this vaccine. Um, I'm not too, too hyped about it, because I don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't know if it's going to cause things to your system to react to it and... In a, in a worse way, I don't know much about it. So would you guys get the vaccine if it was available to you? Or would you just rather um, beat COVID the natural way without, without the vaccine? Will receive emergency use authorization by the FDA by the end of this month. The average American should be able to get a vaccine if they wanted by the spring. Well, we're talking probably by April, the end of April, I would think. You know, the vaccine could be a lifeline for people like Peggy George and Lisa Smith. The sisters from Toledo, Ohio, say they have had to visit their 91-year-old mother, Elizabeth Sminner, through the window of her nursing home for the last seven months. 
They say their mother has dementia and the lack of contact is making it worse. It was heartbreaking because I didn't even get to say goodbye the final time and I thought we were just gonna have to quarantine her for two weeks and that was back in March. Everybody needs somebody in their life. They, they need our touch. We have, like you know, said, she hasn't touched her. We have not, you know, hold her hand. We just want to take care of her. So many families like them going through the same thing, you know, the... Now, that is true. Most nursing homes, they won't let you go in. You, If you're, like, a part of the family, you can't go in. The only thing that you can do is do a window visit. And so you won't be able to physically touch your family member. So I guess that would be a problem. Sisters were telling us there are eight sisters in the family. And they go every Sunday, all eight. And when they're all eight together, they said mom clicks. And she's like, oh, I recognize them now. Those are my girls. But lately, they said the nursing home told them you can no longer do eight. You can only do two at a time outside the window. And they don't understand why. It doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense to us. We reached out to the nursing home. That's new. I've actually never heard of that one just yet. Only doing two at a time at the window instead of eight. That part is new to me. So if I run into a nursing home that does that, then I can say that I've, I've experienced it, but I haven't experienced that rule just yet. I have not heard back, but Tony, we're going to follow up to see if they can get all eight sisters again. Again, it's outside the window. Yeah. So it seems like it'd be easy to do. Yeah, it doesn't seem to make sense to me either. David, thank you very much. Another powerful report on the toll of this. Robin Hood is an investing. And that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how you're managing to deal with COVID, especially in the states where it's really bad at. And just drop some tips, some comments in the in my comments that, that not only, you know, it could probably help me, but it could also help others who may be looking for answers that they haven't gotten yet. Um, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, tell me if you want me to do more of these videos. Tell me if you want me to kind of keep up with the news in terms of uh, nursing, pandemic, if there's something that you like, I'll keep doing it. If not, feel free to drop information that you want me to cover. All right, see you in the next video.